Hi, I'm Laurent Holzer, I'm a biophysics postdoc and I'm going to tell you about something that we did in the last uh, two years, a very cool project in collaboration with another lab in the NCCR Chemical Biology. Uh, this other lab, what they had designed was a set of probes with, uh, which they could use to detect RNA in, in living cells and their idea was to use it in zebrafish, so not only in living cells and when we heard that we were super excited because RNA is a very important molecule and to be able to see that live in a zebrafish is uh, super cool, nobody could do that before. We went to think how to do it and our idea was to inject those uh, probes into very early, uh, very young zebrafish embryos and then to wait uh, and see what, what, what would happen after 24 hours. Um, and indeed we managed to, to make them survive during this period and to uh, go to the microscope and see indeed fluorescence after the reaction had occurred. And we could see fluorescence in very specific locations, exactly as we expected that from the patterns that were known uh, previously. Um, of course we had to try several more, we tried some other microRNAs, we tried several more embryos and all of the time it worked. So our method was really solid and it, it worked all the time. So we were very 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 happy. And now we are thinking what could we do with that in the, in the future. Um, one of the ideas is to, to now use this, uh, this, these probes and not to see the RNA but to attach other molecules like drugs or, or inhibitors and, and really um, yeah, focus on a very specific organ for example and apply them there. So you could imagine that you apply the drug only in the kidney and see what happens. How does the kidney react? Uh, how does the molecule work also? And then later, in the far, far future, maybe, you could even imagine that uh, we use this as a targeted medicine approach. So you could think that you maybe find a way to only attack the, the tumor and, and, and locate um, and bring some, some medicine to that location. But yeah, of course, for this we need to do a lot of research still.